integration will encounter interviews in many contexts. So for most people, it's in the context of a uh, 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 green card case, so through marriage. So for example, if you're married a US citizen, uh, you know, sometimes they'll just prove it based on the, the paperwork that you file, but often there'll be an interview. And then after you marry a US citizen, it's been only uh, it's, been, it's been less than two years that you've been married when you apply for the green card. Two years later, you'll have to file a new form called I-751 um, that shows that either you're still married and still carrying on a marital relationship, or that if you're divorced or something else happened, that the original marriage was bona fide, so it was a real marriage that wasn't just entered into for immigration benefits. Those almost always come from the interview too. So those are, that's a marriage case. Other situation is where you're um, a green card holder, you're applying for naturalization. That'll be an interview as well. Um, and in other cases, in some, uh, when you go overseas to the consulate, uh, if, you have to, if, you have to, if you need a visa from the U.S. Embassy in another country, you will need an interview there as well. So a tourist visa or any H-1B, O-1, other employment-based visa coming from overseas, you will need an interview. Um, the most important thing to remember for an interview is to prepare. So usually a lot of people that we have to help fix the problems that occur at the interview is because they did not review their application before they went in. Um, so it's best to know your own case inside and out. So all the dates, the facts, um, in a marriage case, right, so when you married your spouse, most people should know that, but you'd, you'd be surprised how many people forget. This is a real marriage, they lived together a long time, but um, you just kind of get into the flow of your life and you forget your details, right? So the, the birthday of your spouse, um, when you first met, uh, how did you first meet? Okay, for, in, in marriage cases specifically, that's, you know, the majority of problems come up when people forget um, how they decided to get married. So who proposed? Did you have a ring? Where did you go for your honeymoon? Right? So you kind of, um, the reason we t try to prepare the clients before their interviews is so everybody's comfortable and you just give the correct answer in the correct manner. But if you do not prepare, then people often get very flustered because the USCIS officer's job is not to, I mean, Theoretically, they're supposed to help you achieve your goal, which is to get a green card or get whatever immigration benefit you have. But many officers, their goal is to make you make mistakes so they can deny you. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and it just depends on the person, right? So they're not, they're not there to necessarily help you. So you have to kind of promote your own case and make sure you're saying the correct things at the correct time. Um, so that's number one, prepare. Number two is people tend to talk a lot when asked questions. In interview, it's good to uh, keep the questions, or the answer is very short and direct. So yes, no, or answering exactly the question that you're asked. Once you start uh, elaborating on uh, a narrative, your own personal story, or telling some like going on some tangents, then usually nothing good can come out of that. Um, it's just not relevant, or you just say something wrong that will ultimately hurt you later on. So prepare uh, direct answers um, and. You know, usually we recommend going with an attorney, so it's good to talk to, at least talk to an attorney before you go, if not uh, to have an attorney go with you, but at least uh, those three steps, I think, are the most important for interviews. And of course, uh, maybe the fourth thing is just to be, this, it's a common sense thing, but you know, dress somewhat presentably, be respectful towards the officer, uh, you know, sit, sit straight, and say yes sir, yes ma'am, um, and, and don't be too casual, because those are people too, um, and they have to do many interviews every day, every day of the week, so the nicer you can be to them, um, the nicer they'll be to you. Uh, again, prepare uh, short, direct answers, and uh, dress nicely, be nice, and uh, the interview process should go well. Any specific interview questions?